Okay, I'm back. Today I'd like to go on our series of Bangha. The virtual machine would be ridiculously easy, and I, from my view, this virtual machine is not so easy as it sounds. So before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. This will help me on YouTube robot. So without further ado, let's just get started. To save time, I have already imported the virtual machine into the virtual box and put it up. So now we can go into the Kali Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as 106. Then I did the since again, and the versus scan and the default script scan, and also very important option, which is comprehensive scan. So I did the map scanning as usual. From the map scanning results, as you can see, the several open ports. The first one is 21, which is running FTP surface and also the version. But uh, as we know, this version, the exact version doesn't have any vulnerability for us. And the next one is 22, but uh, the map is not sure what it's about. Maybe it's SSH surface, maybe it's not. And the next is 80, which is running HTTP surface, and also the actual version information, which is Apache 2. And the next one is 90, 90, and again, runs as HTTP surface. And the next one is 13337. And the service is unknown. But here we got the first flag, I think. But I think today we will not focus on the all flags, rather than go to elevate or get the loot privilege, rather. And the next one is 5.2, which is running SSSH and also the actual virtual information. So I think for this virtual machine, it's so important to put the option of dash p dash. Otherwise, you will not, or a map will not recognize this surface, which is running over not a common port number. And the last one is 60,000. But again, the surface is unknown. So I think from here, from the results of the map scanning, the first target should be FTP surface because the FTP surface allow us to anonymous login. So we can log in to the target and we can use the anonymous as our user and the password we leave it as a blank and we can list the content and we can get the flag here and also there is pub directory but nothing there and now we can quit we can cut the first flag so wow this is unexpected 10 points so i think now we need to do some emulation for the 80 port Firstly, we need to use the browser to make menu immersion. Let's put the IP address of the target into the address bar of the browser. So this is a multi cool website. And uh, if we check the source code, nothing there. And uh, But uh, if we check the robots file, yeah, robots file is there. And sorry about the notification. And we can run or access this file, CGI file. Yeah, under construction. 
So I think uh, also from the South Coast, I'm sorry, Morty, it's a bummer. So it's a fine. And then we can try the next one. Next one. And let's put in the end. Okay, we can enter and and IP address to, to trace, for example, the local IP address. Yeah, it is successful, it successfully executed. So maybe we can, uh, this, this page has the command injection vulnerability. We can check on this vulnerability, for example, like uh, LS. Yeah, it does. And also we can check the whether we can cut the content of the password file, but not found. I think there's some sort of filtering mechanism adopted by the target. So what can we do? You know, when I did this virtual machine the first time, I tried so many different ways to get the reverse shell, for example, like uh, I list here, I use the Python, use the bash, so different ways, but all failed. So what can we do? But, uh, you know, maybe we can try to other commands, for example, although cat command is filtered, but maybe we can try the less command. As you can see, we got the content or retrieve the content of the password file. And there's some, the three users we can make a copy and make a note in case we need this information later as we move forward. So I think now, what can we do? Maybe, you know, we, if we, of course, we can try to crack the password with Hydra and uh, use the lock you as our word list, but I think this is not a smart way. We need to do some immersion first for the AD port. For example, like we can use the Ligato. Yeah, Ligato is my, yeah, as I mentioned very often, the Ligato is one of, one of my favorite two when I do the directory, sorry, web application immersion. As you can see, the Ligato has identified the directory of a password. We can check on that directory. Passwords. Yeah, there's some files. For example, the first one, and again, another flag. But, uh, you know, as I mentioned at the very beginning, we are not uh, interested in getting out all flags or, or points. We just want to get the loot, loot share or get the loot privilege, rather. And the second one is a passwords, passwords file. And here, wow, multi real clever story password in a file called passwords of dot HTML. You've really done it this time, Monty. Let me at least hide them. Either delete them entirely, but I know you'd go bitching to your mom. That's the last thing I need. But if we check the source code here, there is one comment saying the password is winter. So we, we have already got three usernames, so we can try manually to to see this pass which user name use this password okay for example we can use the ssh the first user would be multi right and the password is winter but the field so we can try another the second user which is summer Winter, yeah, we did. We have already logged in to the 
target via SSH as a user summer. And we got the second or maybe the third flag. But we, oh, the cat is filtered. So we can use the more or less to do that. Okay, get off the high road summer. Okay, so what can we do? Maybe we need to, we need to do some a more local immigration. For example, we can navigate to home directory and go to the multi. Yeah, there's some files. For example, the we can download onto the Kali Linux and then make an analysis how to download. We can use the Python 3 HTTP server module and we can make a copy and we can download. Maybe I just autocomplete. Okay. So now we have already downloaded uh, these two files. The first one we can unzip, but uh, it's password protected. And we can use the zip to jump to convert, convert to hash value and then use the John the Reaper to crack, but uh, failed, I can tell you. So what can we do? Maybe we need to analyze the, this a bit weird, the images. We can use the stack seek. This one can help us to extract, crack the password and extract hidden message, but uh, cannot find a valid passphrase. But from the file name of this picture, I think the author has already told us or giving us hint the password should be inside this file. So we can use the strings to see what's inside this file. As we scroll up to the top, as you can see, here, the save a password, the file, the password is missing. So we can make a copy and then we can unzip and paste in here. Okay, and then we can cut the journal, journal txt. And I think we got uh, so Monday, so today Rick told me my, my huge secret. He had finished his flask, was on to the commercial, blah, 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 and about the save and a password, or maybe it as a save password, or worse, a password that was a save. So now we can go back to our shell. We can, we can navigate to another user. Go to the wiki. Yeah, the two directories which look suspicious. We go to the this. We cut not flag more. Yeah, but seriously, this is this isn't a flag. Then we can go back, and we can go to the another one. Yeah, I think this is a save. So I think the password, we can use the password we got from here. This is the password to open this save. Okay, and we can run. But we, I think we do not have privilege to run this command. We can try permission denied because we are summer and uh, but to, although we do not have the privilege to ex execute this, this command, but we have privilege to read the content of this file. So we can copy, save to the temp, and go navigate to temp directory, 
and then we can run this save again. And this time, we can have a privilege to run. As you can see, Rick's password hints. And uh, I think the password, as you know, I think Rick's means this user Rick's Sanchez. And uh, sudo is really good and generate potential password. And this is loose. The first letter is uppercase character. And the second one is digit. And last one is one of the words in my old band's game. You know, I didn't like, like uh, the bands, but uh, maybe we can go to the search engine to make some research. Anyway, uh, this, uh, the, the band name is Flash Curtains. And uh, now I think it's time to generate our own dictionary and then use this dictionary to crack the password for the user, Ricky Sanchez. So how to do it? We can use the crunch. And then curtains. OK, it's done. Now we can check our own dictionary. And then we can use the Hydra to crack the password for this user. So I think I have already done, I, I, I'm not sure where, what, oh, sorry, I need to put the word list as our dict. Let's run it. And then if, and then when it's done, and I will come back. Yeah, as you can see, we have already retrieved the password for the user, Luke. Uh, sorry, I forgot to explain the, the command or the two crunch. Here is the minimum length, and the second one is maximum length. And here, specify the pattern. The comma stands for the uppercase letter, and the percent stands for the digit. So, yeah, since we have already got the password, and then we can copy this password and switch our shell to Luke and put the passwords here, then we can elevate our privilege to the user because the, this user uh, belongs to the wheel group. And we can run the sudo. And we can put the password again. Yeah, we can run all commands. In other words, we can easily elevate our privilege to root user by simply running, running bin bash. As you can see from the banner, we have already become the user root. And then we can navigate to root directory. Then we can get the root flag here. Sorry, I forgot to forgot uh, one thing. Yeah, in this box, the cat command is filtered or is disabled, but we can use the more command to retrieve the content of the final flag or the root flag here. Okay, so that's all. I'd like to go through for this virtual machine. I hope to see you in the next one.